Hey guys, just wanted to do a really quick baby update. So I'm nine days away from my due date and I, you may remember the doctor had said uh, if I don't go into labor before that, then she will, um, she, we've scheduled an induction for that night, which is June 23rd. Um, we had our baby appointment yesterday and she said my, I mean, this is TMI, so if you don't want to hear about baby stuff, but... Um, my cervix is soft and um, still a little thick, but uh, I am dilated a little bit. I think she did a little bit of a sweep. She didn't say she did, but at one point I, I jumped a little bit. She said, okay, I'll stop. So I kind of think she did a little bit of one because she did say she was able to get inside my cervix a little bit. So I am a little bit dilated. And um, so right after we left, I mean, I, I just was walking differently and felt a lot of pressure and uh, I told Dan like I feel different <laughs> so we went to uh, a movie and um, went to Costco and walked around a little bit we've been looking for a chest freezer and um, yeah I continued to feel like I think something's happening so we came home and uh, I did have some, um, you know, a little bit of bleeding and mucus and stuff. So TMI, but there you go. Uh, it's usually a good sign. So, uh, yeah, I just, we tried to go to sleep early and just prepare. Um, he went back to work today because we were just on his weekend. And um, so I told him I'd call him if things progress. So... It's about um, four o'clock right now. Um, this morning I did some work from home and then went to get my nails done and then I went to Winco. And so I just got home with groceries. I need to get those put away. I'm going to prep a little bit of food um, for us for the next couple days. But, you know, again, it's like if we go to the hospital for two or three days, you know, I don't want all the food to go bad. So um, I don't know. I'm not going to cook a lot, but I'm going to have, I, I did buy some things to have on hand and I can freeze some of the stuff too, just in our normal, you know, freezer. And I got stuff to make chicken fajitas. And then, um, there's a creamy chicken chili that we make all the time. Dan, like whenever I ask him what sounds good, he always says that, even though we just had it like two weeks ago. Um, so I'll make that too. And, uh, you know, again, if we need to, we can stick those in the freezer. Um, and, you know, I'm as prepared as I will ever be. <laughs> uh, I, I'm, like I said in the last video, I'm really lucky in that I am get to stay home right now. So I have a lot of time on my hands. And uh, so everything is as organized and ready as it's going to happen. So, um I'm just, I'm ready. <laughs> I can, you can tell I didn't put any makeup on today. Uh, it's a ponytail day. I just wanted to go out and get some errands done. I did get my nails done and let's see if those will focus. I don't know, but, uh, yeah, just, just waiting for baby. So, um, there's a nail salon pretty close to my house. Um, so, I'm going to do some cooking tonight and see how I feel. And then, um, I might wait till tomorrow and, uh, walk up there and go get my, get a pedicure, get my toenails done. So, and I think foot massages can kind of help induce labor too. And, um, so yeah, just trying some little tricks, um, nine days away from my due date. So, uh, my next baby appointment is on Tuesday. And then the induction is scheduled for Friday. So she said, see you on Tuesday if you don't go into labor sooner. And then she did say, and I'm working this weekend if you want to go into labor. <laughs> um, with Kaiser, they rotate. So even though I've been able to see her as my OB this whole pregnancy, it's not guaranteed that she's going to be delivering my baby unless she's working that night. So but that's okay. I'm trying to think of anything else. 
I did pick up my camera, um, but Dan seems to think it's maybe scratches on the lens versus like a piece of hair or something in there. So, but I'm surprised the camera store wouldn't say that, but I don't know. Maybe I need to take it for a second opinion. I still am leaning towards investing in a new one at some point soon. So we'll see. But Okay, I think I'm going to go. So thank you for watching and thank you for following us. And uh, we will keep you updated. Okay.